I'm Lori Lane Zucker, founder and CEO of Impact Entrepreneur here at SOCAP 22 in San Francisco, California with Neil Gehani. Hi, Neil. Good to meet you, Lori. Neil, tell me, what's the name of your business? Uh, the name of the company is Mind Lumen. And what does Mind Lumen do? We are in the mental health uh, and wellness space. Uh, there's about a billion people suffering from mental health disorders, according to the WHO, and that's we're facing a mental health crisis. Uh, and the COVID has made that really worse. And so we are trying to address that problem. There are people coming to us seeking mental health therapies, particularly psychedelic assisted therapies, which is a growing field right now. A lot of investments happening in that space. And that's a very difficult space for people to navigate. Uh, it took me, for example, three years to find the therapist that I needed, uh, dealing with my own trauma. And uh, now I'm trying to help others to remove friction in the process so we can connect them with trained and vetted facilitators and healing spaces where the healing can take place. So it's a three-sided marketplace, uh, and that's what we're trying to build here. Yeah, it's, it's really transformative stuff, that whole sector. Uh, where are you based? I'm based right here in San Francisco, California. And yet, it you're, you, you, sounds like you're working globally. Or are you focusing on specific regions right now? I'm working globally uh, because there's jurisdictions where psychedelic substances are completely legal. And there's also jurisdictions in the United States which are decriminalized or deprioritized and legalized. For example, ketamine is completely legal in the United States. There's ayahuasca churches that are legal. Uh, and Oregon is going to go into effect in 2023, so psilocybin will be legal next year. And FDA is very likely to remove psilocybin and MDMA off Schedule 1 next year because Phase 3 trials have proven to be highly efficacious, uh, especially for patients with PTSD and, and uh, terminal cancer, uh, anxiety and depression, and so all of those things have made it now safer for people to use psychedelics, but there's a huge underground network, and so a lot of people have trouble navigating that network, and so that's what Mind Lumen does, is offers a navigation service to connect people that are seeking therapies to uh, facilitators who offer that therapy. Um, I recently read Michael Pollan's book on psychedelics and therapy. That seems to have really broken, been helpful in breaking through a lot of presumptions and kind of helped the uh, kind of the, the movement around psycho uh, psychedelic therapies kind of become mainstream again or, or kind of start, start moving toward the mainstream again. Is that correct? That's correct, yeah. I mean, he's basically popularized the idea. A lot of people read his book, Change, Change Your Mind. There's a Netflix documentary series that talks about that a lot. I think there's more more people coming out and, and talking about it publicly. I've been talking about it publicly here in San Francisco. I have moderated a panel on, on psychedelic science, innovation, and policy. I also am very actively involved in policy work for decriminalizing all drugs because that's affecting the quality of life of people. We talk a lot about quality of life here, and, and that's fundamentally, if you're not, you know, mentally sound, it's really, that's the most difficult thing to address quality of life, especially for people in BIPOC communities and people of color where I come from, particularly Asian and South Asian communities, we come from very stoic cultures and it's very difficult for us to express uh, how we feel and, and so that is a very, uh, very big thing and particularly marginalized communities affect them a lot. So we, we're focused in that, in that area and that's what we need to do to try and help uh, all these people get the help that they need. So here, this year at SOCAP, uh, because you've been here before, this year what are you looking for? What kind of connections, what do you need? Right now we're looking to raise money and so we're, we're trying to raise between a quarter million and a million, uh, two million dollars. Primarily we're trying to look at uh, individuals and family offices uh, who are invested uh, or interested in investing in mental health and, and mental health care. We haven't heard a, little a lot of talk about it here because people have talked about the quality of life issue, but mental health has not been talked about as a, a major criteria of, of the quality of life issue. So we think that that is something we're looking for, so we're just looking to connect with people in that space. Uh, this is my first SOCAP, and it's, uh, I'm trying to find the right people to connect to. So, uh, Can you share with our audience your uh, website address so they can find you? Yes, my website address is mindlumen, spelled M-I-N-D-L-U-M-E-N dot X-Y-Z. The X-Y-Z really is, is a crypto-based domain. So that we, because we're working with psychedelics, sometimes, you know, people do not like .coms or .orgs, and we are a platform, so that's why we use that. Excellent. X, .xyz. Thank you very much for coming along. Appreciate it. Thanks, Lori.